Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the latest stable version of the Microsoft Edge web browser version 94 is now rolling out. It started rolling out yesterday on the 24th of September 2021 and I received my update today on the 25th in my region of the world. This also means we have been moved up now from version 93 to 94 in this latest stable release. Now version 94 comes with a couple of new feature updates and also numerous security fixes have been rolled out in version 94 as well. And also now from version 94 onwards, just like Google Chrome, Edge now moves to a four week release cycle for version updates. And there is an exception to this though, where a new extended stable option has now been offered to Enterprise customers who get an eight week now release cycle uh, to version updates. So normal users of Edge now get version updates every four weeks. Enterprise customers moving forwards now get a version updates to Edge every eight weeks. Now, if you'd like to see if you have the latest version, just head up to your menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And if you use Edge on a regular basis, you will be updated automatically in the background. And this process will also update you to the latest version, which is 94.0.992. Point three one. That's the latest uh, version and build update to the Microsoft Edge web browser. Now, the first thing you're going to notice on the uh, relaunch of Microsoft Edge when you open the browser after the update is you will see a new tab appear now that will give you uh, what's new in Microsoft Edge. It's basically a bluish purplish uh, new tab page where it says here's what's new in Microsoft Edge. And the first little feature that's uh, been updated in uh, Microsoft Edge version 94 is a feature called Travel Recommendations, where Microsoft says it's your personal travel agent. And this will all appear on that new, what's new in Microsoft Edge new tab. And they say your personal travel agent will save time as you plan your travels. When you search for a set of dates and locations, Microsoft Edge will make it easy to fill in that information on the next site you are researching. So that's just going to help uh, when you search for a set of dates and locations. And then the next little feature that will also appear on the What's New in Microsoft Edge new tab page is you now get uh, Hispanic heritage themes that are now available uh, to be added and used as themes in the Edge browser version 94. And to get to that, you just head back to your menu, you go to settings, Head to Appearance, and if you go to Discover More Themes, you can in Edge Add-ons, you can just search for Hispanic Heritage Themes, and that will pop it up here, which you can apply uh, uh, in the Microsoft Edge web browser now. And then, as mentioned, there are a couple of extra little features and add-ons, and the first one of those is that improvements have been made now to the default behavior of opening MHTML files and this basically means this change will fix a rendering issue that was observed when opening an MHTML file in Internet Explorer mode when saved from Microsoft Edge. And then there have also uh, been improvements that now restrict private network requests to secure contexts and that basically means according to the release notes that access to resources on local networks from pages on the internet requires that those pages be delivered over HTTPS, which is a more uh, secure internet connection. This change is happening in the Chromium project of which Microsoft Edge is based. And then that as, uh, was also applied in Google Chrome 94 when that rolled out a couple of days ago. And then you also now have uh, block mixed content, uh, content downloads. And that's according to the release notes where they say secure pages will only uh, download files hosted on other secure pages and downloads hosted on non-secure non-https pages will be blocked if initiated from a secure page so those two little last little feature updates mentioned are basically security features that have been improved in edge version 94 and then also now um the uh, accessibility settings page there's a new accessibility settings page which has basically brought all the accessibility related settings together on a single page and I actually did feature this in a previous video 
uh, when it first rolled out to Edge Canary. And how you get to it is you just go back to your menu settings. And you'll see now that there's a new accessibility option in the settings menu on the left. And when you click on that, it just takes all the accessibility set settings in Edge and collates them into one single page. And now you can also see show a high visibility outline around the area of focus on the page. That's a new little add-on and it just shows a little area add-on when you highlight around a button or a feature for accessibility ease of use. So all accessibility, accessibility options now are collated into one page in version 94. And also uh, there have been some uh, policy updates to version 94 as well. Now if we just head over to the Edge release notes uh, for the stable channel, I have mentioned most of these feature updates and I will leave this page of the release notes down below uh, so you can go check this out more in depth uh, if you would like to. And as I said, I've mentioned most of those. And then the big one here for the security side of things uh, in Edge version 94 is this update contains a fix for CVE 20213793 which has been reported by the Chromium team as having an exploit in the wild. So that means it's currently active. So if you don't update and patch your Edge browser, you could be very open and vulnerable to attack because if it's already active, that means it has already been exploited in the wild. So if we just click on the security update guard, I have counted in the security update guard approximately uh, 17 to 18 security fixes that have rolled out on the 24th of September to Microsoft Edge Chromium. There's about 17 or 18 listed here. And as mentioned, one of those has already been exploited in the wild. So, you know, if you're not interested in new features, it's important to check you up to date uh, just to get the latest security fixes, including that all important uh, patch to address that uh, exploit that has already been exploited in the wild. So that's more or less what's new in version 94, a couple of new feature updates. And with the new four, re four week release cycle, you are going to see less feature updates, big feature updates due to that more, um, you know, uh, faster rollout to the browser. So that's Edge 94. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.